actual Barbie dream house as well as some of the Barbie fashionistas. I want to thank Mattel for sending these to me to take a look at with you guys today. I'm so excited. This dream house is a dream. You can see a slide right over there. Yeah, it's a slide in a dream house. Let's go ahead and start taking a closer look at this. I wanted to start by showing you these four Barbie fashionistas that we have to move into the dream house. I love their outfits. This one might be my favorite. I love her dress. It's so shimmery and so many colors. But I also really, really, really like her dress. And they're just all so super cute. Look at them. I love their shoes too. Anyway, here is the dream house, you guys, it's a dream, it's a dream. So we have the garage here, I don't have a car. <laughs> I mean, I have a car somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Uh, but this is a perfect garage, you just park it in there. And then we have like little stairs here that go up to this pool, which you can actually fill with water. So it's, it's not yay deep, it's not that super deep, but it's so cool. Oh my gosh, I love it, I'm freaking out. I like how it has the translucent look to it, so it makes it even better. Then we have, <laughs> wait for it, the slide, you guys, the slide, the slide. It is crazy, and it goes up here. So the slide, you, you get on the slide from up here at the top floor, and it's by the fireplace, which <laughs> there's just so much to cover. I hope I remember to cover everything. If you flip the, the fireplace around, it's like a little desk. And we do have a chair somewhere, I think it's here. You can put the chair there, and it is now a desk. And then we have a little puppy. Oof, oof, oof. You guys probably just heard my dog in the background, so there we go, we have another dog. And then we have the bedroom, probably my favorite. We do have a little laptop, <laughs> and then they have a swivel TV as well, so you can kind of watch it from any direction. And we have, oh, we have this like chandelier up here, and we have these curtains and a closet, you guys, a closet. There is a closet with some hangers and little drawers and you got lots of shelves to put tons and tons of shoes. But anyway, we have a bed here. This bed's pretty cool. It's just a solid plastic bed and you have this nice little cover. And then if we move down here, this is probably my favorite stuff, you guys. Get ready. So we have the bed, bunk beds here. You're seeing bunk beds, right? We also have a little coffee table here with a letter which can go in the mail slot. <laughs> There's a mail slot. Oop. And if we take, let me see. So you can um, take these off here, flip this over, and it's a bed. So for a Chelsea, that would be perfect. And then if you, let me see if I can do this correctly, fold in that ladder. Oh wait, I don't think I did it right. Hold on, small technical difficulties. But if we fold this up like so, gonna make sure we get that ladder in there. We have a couch. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Oh my gosh, that's my favorite, favorite, favorite part. And I'm loving all of the stickers and stuff in the in the backgrounds. I think they're so nice and homey. And then we have this shower curtain here that pulls out. So that's pretty neat. And then you can fold it back in when you're done with the shower because they take the shower right here. Now we have this toilet, there's a button on it that does make sounds. You have to install batteries to take triple A batteries, just one for the toilet. And then downstairs the kitchen takes three of them, I believe. And then we have this towel, if I could put that back on there. And we have all these toothbrushes, and I have a big mess going on, but these plants, guys, are probably my favorite plants I've ever seen. They're so nice and tropical. So this one just kind of stands, it's a freestanding one. And then this one actually hooks onto these little balcony bits. Then, that's where the pool is. So then if we go down here, we are kind of in this like little Kind of, you can kind of put the dining table here. You can, I don't know, make this your own space. I don't really know. I kind of put the dining table in here next to the kitchen, or like the, the counter and the fridge. And then I put like two chairs out there so they can dine out on the back patio. There's also a dog food and a dog bowl. Oh, and here's the elevator. Probably forgot to mention that. Now we have tons of silverware. So much, <laughs> so much silverware. I did install batteries on this. So if you press down on this right here, this burner, none of the other ones press down, just this one. So it sounds like it's frying things. I don't know, I think that might be all that it does. I'll have to bring this out just in case. I do wanna double check on that. Hmm. Pretty sure that is the only bit that activates. I could be wrong, but that's what I figured out thus far. But we do have some, um, I thought these were cookies, but they're not cookies. I think they're cupcakes, or muffins, sorry, muffins. 
Then we have a plate of pizza, we have some cake, we have, <gasps> there. So when you shut this, it activates. That's cool. Now I think, I actually think that's it now. And then on the other side, there's a grill. So when you're doing this, obviously how it was before, they're technically outside, they have a grill. So that you can have this outside, you can have a whole party outside. And then the fridge, I wanna show you the fridge is really cool. So of course it's a nice fridge here on the outside and then on the inside you can put all your foods and stuff in there. Now on the back, it's also like a little drink lemonade area. So that again can be kind of put out here so that they have something to do out there as well as in here, it's double sided, it's really cool. We also have some shelves, as you can see, tons of stuff everywhere. And then we have these doors Love the doors, translucent doors. And then of course we have the mail slot and we have our number here. This is just, <laughs> this is crazy. I love it, I love it. And then here's a Barbie in here. There we go, we'll set her up. And then I wanna show you guys how they look when they come down the slide. Let's see if I can get her to come down the slide. Come on, come on, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck right now. Usually like they went down the slide perfect uh, about nine times out of 10. So, oh, this girl just fell out. Let me see if I can get one of these. These are probably not gonna work now, but they did. Go down the slide, there, there we go. Look at that, so cool. I love it, we definitely need to get them swimsuits, and then we'll fill this up with water, that'd be so fun. Definitely need some Barbie swimsuits for sure. So the only things that required batteries were the toilet, as just to recap, the toilet and the grill down there. It's just so cool, I love this. I love it so much, it's such a good house. I'm gonna show you the back. It's a little bit darker back here because it's not facing the sunlight, but we have this Koi Pond sticker. I love it. This is the part that's holding up the slide. Then you have little details on the back here. We have like a little, I think that's this little strawberry patch. Got a bird feeder. There's lots of cool stuff, a lot of cool features. And then of course I wanted to show you the top. So the top's really, really cool. We have this solar panel. <laughs> I love that, that's so neat. And then, of course, down here is like our little patio. I do think they should have put the patio here. I mean, you can always put the patio there, but it won't lock in, because that way they can come out here easier, but this way they can kind of access these, you know, they could pretend to grill, whatnot. Stuff like that, so awesome. I cannot believe I almost forgot the elevator. The elevator does fit four dolls. So two go in each side of this, and the door does open right here. So the dolls on this side are kind of stuck. They can't, they can't get out. No, I'm just kidding, they can't. Now just have to hop over this little divider here. Now the way this, this elevator works, you have to press this button in to get it to move. When you release the button, it stops. So you can move it up and down very smoothly. It works perfectly. I want to give a huge thank you again to Mattel for sending this to me to check out with you guys today. This was so super fun. Click the card on the screen to watch more videos like this one. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.